Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified of future videos. This is the transfer, dark fabric transfer by Jolie's Jolie's. It's for dark, dark fabrics. This is the front, that's the back. Pretty self-explanatory. We are gonna put this in the printer and print out our design. So we have it face down. You can see this is the backside face up. And because obviously, you know, you guys, each printer is different, but this printer feeds in, comes back out this way. And we have our design right here. We're gonna print that out and put that on a shirt. One thing I gotta add, <clears throat> for this dark transfer, you don't need to mirror the image or anything. You can print it out exactly how it is and it's gonna come out the same. And I'll show you, and I'll show you what I mean. So I know other shirt transfers, you have to mirror the image because you transfer it on. This prints directly onto a vinyl sheet that is going to transfer directly to our shirt and I will show you that. Our design is now printed. How great that looks. Now we gotta cut it out. Okay, so now I got the scissors ready. Now I know most uh, most shirt designs or other transfers, you would mirror the image because the print would go face down on the shirt. You would then heat press it, iron it or whatever, and then pull the sheet off and it would transfer. Not this. Okay, this, you gotta cut your actual design that you're gonna be using. So you gotta cut it all the way around and we're gonna to get to that right now. Right, so here it is, cut out. Now, remember how this is, this was the back here and this is the front. Now the reason why, hold on a second, dropped it. Now the reason why you print it straight out like this is because this actually peels off. Give me one second while I peel that off as best I can. Can I get this off? It's my heat press heating up in the background. Took a little time just to get that started. Now let's see if we could get it. Oh boy, it's super stubborn here. All right, there it goes, there it goes. Come on, come on, don't lose it, don't lose it. There it goes, got it. Okay, so be very careful when you tear this off because you don't want to stretch the actual printed vinyl because it's gonna miss, misshape a little bit if you pull it too hard. So you just wanna kinda ease it around, just little by little. Okay, almost got it, and it's off. So here's the backing, the paper, and this is the design. And there's the sticky side that's going to be activated by the heat. And that goes directly onto the shirt. Let's get pressing. We got the heat press set to uh, 305. Let's get the shirt set up and let's get going. Okay, so I have the shirt loaded onto the heat press here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the shirt. It's going to go on the back of the shirt. So I'm going to preheat the shirt for uh, like 
five seconds or so. What that does is it releases any moisture that's in the shirt and will cause the vinyl to adhere to the shirt a lot better. So now that we got that set up, I'm gonna take it off again. I'm gonna cool it down a bit. Like I said, this is the back of the shirt. It's gonna go on a tank top here. It's out of the way. So, so now we got the back, we're gonna line it up as best we can. And see, see what we got here. Just give me one second and I'll go ahead and uh, get that set up for you. Okay, so the shirt was super shifty, so I couldn't really get a good measurement. So I'm gonna go to plan B. You can do this and it's gonna be perfectly fine if you do this. You can either measure it, then place your vinyl on top and then press it, or you can um, fold the shirt directly in half, put it on there and press a quick crease right down the center so you have a focal point. So what you want to do is you just want to press it for like three, four seconds. One, two, three, four. Good to go. And now you have a center line. Let me see if, let me just drape this over my forearm here. You, you got the center line right there that you can now work with. You just want to do a visual inspection though to double check. That looks, that looks perfectly centered. So now we're gonna load this up and we're gonna put our design on there and we're gonna press it. All right, so now I got it loaded. I got it, you gotta make, you just wanna just go over it with your hands, make sure there's no fabric wrinkled underneath. Just make sure it's nice and smooth here. I got my heat press set to 305. Now we're gonna place the actual design straight on top. It's gonna go in there just like this now. Very important, you need to have a protective sheet over this design. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one that came with the packaging itself. Now we're gonna place it over the design. And we're gonna press it for about 30 seconds. Then we're gonna check back on it and see if maybe we need to press it for a little bit more. So let's go ahead. We're gonna press it. I'm gonna go 20 seconds at first and then I'll pull it off and see where we're at. Okay, so the heat press just went off. We're gonna unlock this, swipe that over to the side there. We're gonna pick this up. We're just gonna look at it. That looks really good. Looks really good there, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, press it for a couple more seconds just to be sure. So what we're looking for is we're looking for, you can see that, you see that texture, how it matches the shirt. That's what we're looking for here. Now that this looks good enough. I like to press it for just a couple more seconds to be on the safe side. So we're going to go ahead and press it one more time for about another 10 seconds and we'll pull this thing off. See how it looks. Okay. So it's been another 10 seconds here. Now we're gonna let you remember I showed you. The texture of the shirt here is what we wanna see in the design. You see that? That's how you know it's nice and pressed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this off and we'll see how it looks. This right here is the final design. That's how it's gonna look. Now this uh, little heat box that you see around it will go away, so you know, don't worry about that, but there it is. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified of future videos.